Hello everybody and welcome back to the Nuzlocke Modlock practice. We are jumping in this time around as Tainted Andromeda and seeing how we do. Of course, this isn't actually the Nuzlocke itself. This is just a few practice runs heading up to the 13th when it officially starts. But Tainted Andromeda, for those of you that don't know this character, he is insane. For one, we have a black hole in the middle of our screen that we fire from. Makes things a little difficult. The bullets also, or tier should I say, orbit around us, the, the head towards us. So yeah, very, very unique method of shooting. Also, as you can see, absorb and create here. You can see the singularity button that he has in his bottom right in his uh, pocket active. That is only going to charge via picking up consumables like pennies, keys, and bombs. And once it charges up, you can then use it to create an item of the item pool that you're currently in. With a few caveats of things like uh, secret rooms not giving you... Um, Secret Room's not giving you items past the first one at 100% chance. It has, actually has diminishing returns. Also, Item Rooms as this character are completely useless. Um, you don't want to enter them basically ever. You enter an Item Room, all that will do is lose you Planetarium chance. You really want to stay away from them. So this is going to be a, this is going to be one of the characters that I think in the in the mod lock itself is going to be really really tricky and even even myself could die as very very quickly i have had many a failed run with this fella many a failed run um this is tricky really like i guess i really want to take out that champion yeah he's he's got some really crazy uh really crazy stuff going on we are getting lucky with our pickups right now we want to be Trying to maximize profits as much as possible to get charges. Now, one caveat with this character is you will always get a full charge upon... Ooh, that could be kind of nice. Um, it might not be, but it could be. Um, it's actually maybe nice. Okay, let's just... Oh, God. Yeah, I got hit already. Okay, that's not good. Um, I'll try and not get hit again. Got hit again. Okay, that's a bad start. That's a really, really not good payout. I was hoping for pills. Pills and cards give you charges on using them, so I was really hoping for pills there. But yeah, we'll always get a full charge upon killing a boss, so we've got that to work with at least. But it's all about the angles for this character. It's all about positioning yourself correctly to deal as much damage as you can to the boss or enemy, but also staying out of harm's way, as you just saw with that last little haunt there. Really was not a great position for me to be in to stay out of harm's way. Okay, nice is in the middle. It does create some really big issues of, of certain angles being impossible to hit enemies at. It's, it's a very, very difficult thing to get used to here. But what we can do now is we can come across this way. If we go and find our secret room now, which I'm not entirely sure of the location, I'm going to guess that it's here. We can then get our first secret room item that will be guaranteed. And we got a character that's actually banned from the Nuzlocke anyways. Okay, that's a good start. Unfortunate loss there. Um, we'll be heading on. And we also got an I'm Excited pill, which could could cause some issues. But as you see as well, our Singularity overcharged there. So we got to keep the other charges that we had, which is really, really nice. But yeah, we're going to keep on pushing forward and just see how we do here. Just see how we do. But yeah. It's going to, I think this is going to be the character that is going to cause the most issue. And I can definitely see why people voted for it. I think this is a really, really interesting and risky character that's got a lot of ups and downsides. That really is going to test some people, especially those that haven't played with modded characters all that much, such as Neonomi. Really going to test their skill quite a lot. Uh, Neonomi being one of the better players of the people that are playing. So it's going to be really interesting to see him try this out. Right, I want to destroy this here just because we could get some pennies. Unfortunately not. We really should destroy those fires as well, actually. Like I said, you really want to make the most of it because every one of these is a charge. We're one charge off. And we'll probably just use it in a regular room to go for an item room. Or we could try and overcharge, save for an overcharge and get an extra devil deal item. Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. Let, let's use it here and see what we get. We got the Relic, which is very, very good for us. If we can manage to survive long enough to actually get that to pay out, that would be very, very good for us. Because right now we are in a pretty sticky situation. As you can see, that guy's sitting inside of the black hole there, which is not good.
The good thing is we can relatively keep our distance from things. Got a magician card here. Try and get everything we can. This could go horribly wrong, depending on the boss we get. We, we didn't get a terrible boss, but we got a bad room. This room could cause problems. You do see as well that Tin Andromeda does start with slightly larger tier size than most characters, which does help. But we managed to get it. That mission card was very helpful. And this time we can go for a devil deal here. So we can pop in here and just go for whatever. We get Damocles. Okay, so this is not something that I would do within the uh, within the regular runs. But we've got Damocles going on. I probably shouldn't have procced it until we um, had a charge, really. It made no real sense to proc it now. Uh, but we go forward. We see how we go. <laughs> yeah. Quite, um, quite an interesting one that we got there. I'm really hoping we get a payout with the relic in the next room or so. This could be a room we die in. This is a very, very difficult thing. Same with Andromeda. We're taking these guys out. We need to make sure we don't step on the webs by accident. Which I seem to be doing a lot right now. There you go. There's a death. This is That just shows just how easy an Andromeda death can be. That just goes to show. This character can be really, really brutal. I mean, we got a bad room there having those enemies that deal full heart damage. But just generally, gotta play it safe. I really shouldn't have bothered going for that red chest. It made no sense. Getting a secret room item that ended up not being useful was also pretty painful there. Pretty darn painful indeed. Good, good. Get some bombs. It's always nice to get bombs on the first floor to try and find your secret room, which I believe to be here. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully it's got a bunch of pennies in it so it gives us a bunch of charges. It doesn't, but it does have a chest, which has French flip necklace. We'll take it. But yeah, this, this I'm going to say, this, this run is just definitive proof of how difficult this guy can really be. It's really going to cause some huge issues for people. And some people, including myself, may get zero marks as this, char as this character. Things can go so wrong so fast. But... I love the fact that that's part of the challenge. It's going to make things interesting and trickier. And I really like that. I really like that people voted for some really hard characters to add in some real strife and difficulty. But normally, if we we're going into an actual run on the Nuzlocke, we'd have no second chance. That would be it. The character would be dead. He'd be gone. No more marks for Tintin Andromeda. We'd have literally finished the character with zero marks. It is the way of the world. Okay, enemies that chase you like this can be a little problematic. I really should have gone for the bomb rock there, but that worked out reasonably well. Because we already found our secret room, I was kind of okay with using a bomb there. But yeah, I hope you guys are liking these little, this little mini-series of just having like these introduction episodes to the characters as well as a bit of practice for myself i think they're a lot of fun and i think it's a good way to build up some hype get us ready get us rearing to go for the mod lock itself i'm really excited to see how people do right singularity in here straw man hmm straw man's kind of interesting because yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. He's is an alternate way to fire, which seems great. But I feel like just because of how we have to shoot things regularly, it's going to make things rather tricky, I would imagine. Make sure we're on top of each other. Yeah, I think it's going to make things rather tricky. The one good thing is we can now use just the straw man to uh, fire at certain enemies if they're uh, being tricky. Especially in large rooms like this, it's definitely preferable to do that, I think. One thing we do have to worry about as well, though, is um, picking up coins as the straw man won't charge singularity, I don't think. So yeah, we're just using a normal singularity fire as secondary right now, really. Push forward. Lots of large rooms this time around here. 
One good thing is, as well, he can protect us a little bit. He kind of acts as a shield. Good, good. Not getting many drops, unfortunately, here. A Fool's Gold Rock here is very, very nice. We will pick up that as you. Yeah, that doesn't charge Singularity at all. Really? We got two? We got two? Ugh. I was really hoping for more than two coins there. I'm like five. Oh, God. These enemies are very fast. Really? We're getting pathetic drops right now. It's very annoying. Okay, and then we'll pop this. Data Miner. Boy. Game's really, uh, really being quite generous to us today. Okay, we got good old Monstra. Of course, visual mods are still allowed as well, so we still have our visual mods on. Struggling a bit, but we're getting there. And we get another charge here. And we get Dark Arts, which is pretty interesting, I think. I think I'll definitely take Dark Arts there, and we'll go. I don't know how Dark Arts is going to work with having Strawman, but honestly, if Dark Arts ends up working, I'm okay to let Strawman go. He he would, he had a valiant effort, but I'd be okay if we... Uh, I'd be okay if we didn't end up seeing him for much longer if Dark Arts ends up being the way forward, I'll be honest. Also, he keeps stealing my charges too. Yeah, okay. Strawman, you're, you're probably going to perish pretty quick here because we need to use Dark Arts. I'm just going to let you perish, in fact. I'm sorry, Strawman. You did me well for the short time you lived, but I very much need to be able to use Dark Arts efficiently. And that's not going to happen if you're about. Dark Arts is going to be huge for us, honestly. Huge. Okay, be a little careful with these guys. Use Dark Arts when it's available. Try and get this guy. There you go. Get some get some of the tears in there in there as well. All we need now is like an orbital to go along with this. We're sitting pretty. Secret room's likely here. There you go. Secret room's are really good to go into because regardless of that one being a little shite, we can sometimes get quite a lot of consumables from a secret room. But they can be very, very valuable. Also HP, that's, that's another thing that we very much need to get from uh, secret rooms. Right now our HP is not looking so hot. Go. But that's always one of the problems with this guy. Keeping your HP at a good level. It really isn't easy. It's one of the biggest issues I find with this character. You're always on low HP. And I don't know what it is, because really he's no different than any other soul heart based character. But this guy particularly, I find so hard to stay high on HP on. Obviously part of it is just getting hit more often. Okay, the, this is a particularly difficult room here. But Dark Arts again, making it significantly easier. The large rooms are really the ones where, like, moving around is a struggle. Shooting enemies is a struggle. There's one soul heart that's super useful. We're going to take these pills as well, regardless of what they give us. We'll be happy because it gives us charges. Always want to use any cards or anything you can find. For the soul heart there. And we'll pop Singularity here. We get the Onk, which is another banned item <laughs> regularly. Uh, anything that revives you as another character isn't allowed. Um, but hey ho. Is what it is, I guess. Good. good. But it looks like we're doing pretty well on charges. I might even go for a shop item next. A, hey, we got our first planetarium here. That was really bad. I walked right into that one. We just, need, we just need enough charges to actually utilize the planetarium now. Damn, that didn't really do much for us there. 
quickly pop in here real quick. And yeah, we want to buy the sack and the heart. The sack is just really good for more, more charges. We'll keep the strength card ready for um, oops, speed up as well. Keep the strength card ready for the boss. Oh, it's made us big. It's made us chunky. Okay, nice. Dark Arts is just invaluable right now. Such a good pickup for us. It really is. Okay, good. And then we did get an overcharge there. Unfortunately, we are one off another overcharge, which honestly would be really nice to fulfill. Uh, I'm going to see if we can find a way to gain an additional penny from somewhere. Or gain an additional consumable of some sort. Because if we could get a single additional penny or initial something, we could get two planetarium items, which would be very, very nice. It'd be a huge boon to our success. But I don't think there's much about. We could use the sacrifice room for a 50% chance for one penny. We got it. We got it. It was worth it. It was worth it. But this is the considerations that you that we're going to have to make. The decision-making process is going to be more involved than it normally is. It's going to be trickier. We're really going to have a hard time sometimes. We can pop that once and get Terra. And we can pop it again. And we didn't actually get a second item, which I'm surprised at. But that's good to know. Good to know. But getting Terra is hugely useful. Because now we can get into extra secret rooms... And find our way around a little bit more. In fact, we should try and look for our second secret room around here somewhere. Because we really want to be min-maxing as much as we can. I'm not 100% sure where it would be, I'll be honest. But I've got a few ideas. It could be down from here. It isn't. It could be all the way up from here. It isn't. And it could be all the way left from here. There it is. And unfortunately, it wasn't super valuable, but it was decent. And we can also bomb this guy for whatever he gives us. And also try and look for crawl spaces here. But yeah, having Terra is going to be real nice. Real nice. Also, Terra's kind of a damage up too, because it's randomized to the damage per shot. And with that increased tier size, I think it's going to be really good. Moss. We just keep getting speed up pills. What the hell? Also, getting hit by that poison was not good. I don't really care about shot speed. I just want the charges. And we keep moving on. I think with Dark Arts, we're relatively set for staying safe. We got here. Unfortunately, just a button and nothing else. Good. Like that. Like getting out of that situation there because of uh, what's it called is super useful. Dark arts. That mushroom just keeps respawning. Okay, didn't respawn that time. Keep moving on. Singularity has almost charged here. So we can pop that. And we get quints. Quints is hugely useful. Yeah, just remember something that we can uh, use Dark Arts to get out of getting hit as well as using it for damage. It's not just for an offensive capability. We got a reflected item here, which I will take. Likely to pay off quite a lot. Uh, what hit me there? Is there a spiked rock underneath the uh, underneath the portal, underneath the black hole? I think there is. That's kind of rude. I 
And we get a fire rate up there as well. And pop singularity again for fate's reward. Decent enough. Damn, I'm getting hit way too much right now. Got hit again there. I need to make sure I'm using dark arts way more than I currently am. I'm not using it enough when I'm getting hit. Honestly, this curse that's regaining all the rocks is savage. Causing a lot of issues right now. Dude, it bonked him into me. Our health is getting really low again here. Need to find some way of getting more HP pretty quickly. Shop is obviously the, the main way right now. It keeps regaining all the thingies of spiked rocks. That's just not fair. Okay. Try and get another charge here. Okay, if I fire while using dark arts, it just doesn't work. I've got to be really careful of that. Damn it, no soul hearts. Really him for soul hearts there. Let's even get another singularity charge for doing our boss. This should allow it. Cool. Go do our boss. We could go for boss items like that could give us HP. Boss pool items are pretty good. The reflections on the floor are really wigging me out right now. Yeah. We're not getting the damage up from Dark Arts, I and mean, that's a... What, I got hit twice there? Are you kidding me? Singularity, singularity. We got a single soul heart from that. Not so good. Got some range though? Yeah, back to the same health we were already on. And two wasted singularities. Probably gonna die again. <laughs> Got hit. Didn't even see that coming. Dead. This is what I'm talking about, people. This character is really, really tough. We're gonna give one more go, because we respawned as Blue Baby that time. Uh, one second. Okay, we are back at it again. Yeah, we got one more go of this, but practice runs ain't going so hot so far. <laughs> like I said, this guy really is going to be the true challenge. And I, I, some people are probably going to leave him to last. Oh, damn it. I didn't see that spider there. He went underneath the portal. Full card. I'm just going to pop it. Want as many charges as I can get. I'm getting cards, I'm just gonna use them. Rooms like this are very tricky too. Another card. Which, although I don't want to be in my item room, I still want the charge, so I'm just gonna take the take the L on that one. Nothing from any of those, sadly. Seems like that way's gonna be the boss, so I'll come this way first. Although, might be wrong. These are a bunch of annoying enemies as well. Okay. Will you be my hero, baby? What could this guy give me? Anarchist cookbook? Is that really any good for us? Damn. Already a heart is gone. I am. I'm going to get zero points as this guy. I can feel it already. I can feel it already. It's gonna be really, really spicy. Hey, extra penny there, though. That cheers me up a little bit. We've got golden bombs there, too, if we can manage to get ourselves a bomb. Hopefully this room rewards us with a bomb. This is certainly a difficult room. I got hit again. Oh, Lord. It's so hard to not get hit as this guy, especially in big rooms, because you've got to be 
standing in specific places to hit everything makes things way harder than it has to be. Sadly, we did not get a bomb. We don't get access to any of the goodies there. And that's really annoying because this boss would have been an absolute breeze if we'd have had a single bomb. We could have had golden bombs and just wrecked him with like two or three bombs. Sadly, that is not the uh, the luck that we have come across today. That's not befallen us. Big flies on us. Uh, it's like, I really want to be as close as I can possibly be to the enemy to make sure my shots hit. But the closer you are, the way riskier things become. Shoot mechanics can be so bizarre. So difficult to master. But such a fun character, though. I really love this character. Okay. Jesus Juice. Uh, this time, let's just go for a boss item. We got marbles. Um... And I don't know how this is going to work. Let's try this out. Yeah, that seems wa that seems wacky enough to me. Let's go for it. Yeah, taking boss items every now and again isn't a bad idea because a lot of boss items give stats or health. So taking them every now and again is, is not a bad idea. We have to be confident in your choice, though. It's, al it's almost always best to go for the secret room item on the first floor, really. But we have no... No chance of that happening for us on that floor, so. Item room is once again a bit useless. We're just going to build planetarium chance instead. Ow. That was a hard room too. <laughs> all of the rooms are hard rooms. They're all hard rooms. Even this one's a pain. Slowly but surely building charges. It's always a little bit of a pain when you don't get many charges. You don't get many items drops. That always makes things a lot harder. But it's just luck of the draw. RNG to what you end up getting. So you just got to pray to the RNG gods and hope you get some good stuff going on. This time is not that time for us. At the minute we're at base stats. And two health lower than we started. Well, I suppose we got extra fire rate from the uh, from the hookworm, but still, it's not great. I'm trying to hit as many shots as I can here. It's a little difficult, but it's going okay. Depends on what a taxi does, really. If he charges me, it's not so good. But that time it worked out, and we get devil deal. Sadly, we don't get double charges on here. But if these, if we get two pennies here, we could. Also waiting for you to drop down. I couldn't even hit her. No pennies. I can't even hit her, god damn it. That worked out. So now we got Goat Head and Little Abaddon. Goat Head being the best thing we could possibly get really here. But our health is still in shambles, so we still have to deal with that. But Little Abaddon, Little Abaddon could prove to be quite useful. We'll see. Mimic chest is slightly slightly annoying there. I don't know how strong Little Abaddon really is, so... Oh, as if I got hit there. I'm trying to stay close because I need to, but... Verp. We verp nothing. Shit, there's a fly there. Shit, there's a fly there. I can't get the flies. I can't kill the flies. We're destroying poops we ain't even seeing. God damn. It's going to be three losses in a row, which, like I said, does not bird well, but it is the way of this character. There you go. That's three losses in a row for Tint Andromeda. The practice runs are um, not going so hot. Anyways, I hope you guys are ready for the Nuzlocke. This guy, I think everyone's going to have a lot of trouble with him. I'm going to do some more practice runs off camera probably with this guy because I think I need to. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.